In this video, we're going to continue the examples, but now we're going to convert from binary to decimal. So first, we need to decide if this is a positive number or a negative number by looking at the first bit. If the first bit, first bit is a zero, then we know that it's a positive number, okay? And if it's a positive number, we just need to convert this into decimal, and that's it. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. So 64, 32, and 16. So that's 12, 6, 9, 10, 11. So this is a positive 1, 1, 2. What about the ones complement? Since it's a positive number, we don't do anything to it. So same thing, positive 1, 1, 2 and positive 1, 1, 2. What about this other example? If you notice, the first thing, again, is to look at the first bit, and that tells us that is 1 is equal to a negative. A negative number so now we have to convert so in the case of the sign and magnitude we're just going to convert this and that's going to be a we just saw it that was a 112 and so that's a one that's a negative so negative 112 what about ones complement? So for the ones complement, if it's a negative number, we need to invert each of the bits. So, so 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. And I'm also including this, which is this, the first bit. Okay. And then we convert this in binary or all of these. Okay. The same thing. So one, two, four, eight. So that's a 15, right? So we have a negative 15. What about a two's complement? If it's a negative, again, we have to do the reverse shortcut method. So I'm gonna start from the right to the left. I'm gonna copy all the zeros. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna copy the first one, and then I'm gonna invert the rest. Zero, 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 okay? And so what is this number? So we have 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. So this is going to be a negative 16. Let's do another example. So again, first thing, remember, look at the first bit. That's a negative number. And so now, if it's a sign and magnitude, we just copy 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. It's a 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. And this tells us that's a negative. So 32 and 16 and 4. So 12, 3, 4, 5. So 52. So that's a negative 52. I'm just going to put it on the left side. What about the ones complement negative? Remember, we need to complement each of the bits. So 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. And then we convert. That's a 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. So that's a 10 plus, so 64 plus 8 plus 2 plus 1. So that's 10, 15, and, oops, it's not a 16, it's just 1, so 7, 5. And remember, we had that first before even we started convert, converting anything, so that's a negative 75, okay? So what about the, the next one? So in the next one, we need to do the reverse shortcut method. So starting from the right, copy all of the 0, 0, and then the first one, and then we complement. 1, 0, 0, 
one zero and then we convert that so we have a one two four eight sixteen thirty two sixty four we add those 64, 8 plus 4, that's 8 and 8, that's a 16, and then a 7. And so we have a negative 76. Okay, so you can see the difference now between the three uh, representations. Okay, but if it's a negative, you have to do something to this one and you have to do some processing to this one as well. What about this other example, okay? The first thing to notice is that first bit. That's a positive number, right? So zero means positive number. Okay, so now for a positive number, we just need to convert this. So we have one, two, four, eight, sixteen, 32, 64, 128. So 128 plus 32 plus 16 plus 4 plus 2. That's a big number. So that's 10. That's another 10. That's 22. So 22. 2 and 2, that's 4. And 4, that's 8. And that's a 182. Yeah, so. Just double checking that I add, I added correctly. Eight and two, that's ten. Six and four, that's another ten. Okay. So positive one hundred eighty-two. And since it's a positive number, we don't do anything to it. One eighty-two. That's it. So just be so just pay attention. First thing to check the first bit. If it's positive. It's the same for the three of the three representations. We don't have to do anything, anything to to it. What about this other one? So first bit one, okay, and then let's just do the whole thing. So let's say um, so one one zero one one zero one one zero. So that's a one two four eight sixteen thirty two one twenty eight. This one we don't use it no use in this case so again 128 32 16 4 and 2 that's our 182 right <laughs> so that's again 10 10 2 2 that's 4 and 4 that's 8 also 182 and remember we have this one so it's a negative 182 okay what about the ones complement? Okay, it's not going to be 182, but a negative. No, we have to do something to, we have to check. So complement, we need to invert all of the bits. So 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. And so we have a 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. Okay, so now 64 plus 8 plus 1 as 13, 6, 7, 73. So minus 73. Can you guess what's going to be a two's complement? Hmm? 74 minus 74, maybe that's your guess. Okay, let's just double check. So Starting from the right, we're going to copy the first zero, copy the first one, and then invert. So we have a 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. Okay. And so now we convert this. So 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. You can see the difference. This one over here was 1. This one was, we have one extra. So 64, 8, and 2. So that's 14 and 7. So minus 74. I randomly picked these numbers. I didn't know it was going to be close to the same. So let's do another example. This one. So again, negative number. And then we do for the sign and magnitude 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. 
what is that number? This one. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256. So 256 plus 32 plus 16 plus 2 plus 1. Just want to write all of them down. And so that's a 14, 15, 16, 17, and 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 307. But remember, it's a negative. So negative 307. What about the ones complement? So ones complement, remember, we invert everything. So 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. And then we convert to decimal. So 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. So 128 plus 64 plus 8 plus 4. So that's, that's 8 and 8, that's 16, 24, and that's a 10, and that's a 2, 204, so minus 204. That's an ugly number. So minus 204. What about the two's complement? Remember, starting from the right, we're going to copy the first one and then invert of them so 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 okay so that's going to be a 1 4 8 64 and 128 you can already see that it's going to be a 205 so my minus 205 okay so summary check the first bit if it's a zero, that's a positive number, you don't do anything to it. If it's a one, that's a negative number. And depending on which representation you are using to convert, then you have to do some processing to it. And then you convert to the decimal.